Yeah, so guys, and welcome to day three of the zero to two million in seven days. So, uh, give me a little lockdown and stuff went. So, uh, a few players we listed up overnight for six hours. I just sold a Cancelo for a uh, 93k, who we bought for 72, which was nice. It's Canabra, who I think we bought for 40, sold for 49. Uh, Fellaini, who we would have bought for 33 and under, sold for 41. So, a bunch of these clicks we bought for 2k and a few of these silvers. Around about anywhere from double to triple what we bought them for, which is all good. So, today's plan of action, of course, is going to be to do a lot of special card trading. Uh, I've got a, you know, a little bit of special cards in the club, and uh, yeah, basically again, just basically doing a lot of what you would have seen on yesterday's episode, so we'll crack into it, show you the first deal we managed to Hey you! Would you like some cheap and reliable coins? Well don't worry, because I've got you a place. Make sure to head over to FIFACoinZoneHotSwazLad.com and use the discount code FLAIR for 2% off now. Or, what you could do, which is a little bit more reasonable, is use your Amazon Prime, or 4.99 subscription over on my Twitch channel. Now you may ask why would you want to do that? That's a pretty good question. I've got you sorted. Basically, you get a daily trading guide. And what if I've got some questions? Twitter, Twitter DM, Twitch DM, email, business email, you name it. Thanks for watching and make sure to enjoy the video. So we've managed to get ourselves our first deal of day and that is in the form of voice. My voice you're gonna have to do with today's episode is gonna be very, very croaky. Uh, I think it's just because I've streamed long hours over the last few days. So we got ourselves an Aspas Ray for 51k. I'll show you that the next ships on the market is literally 70k. So uh, yeah, really, really good deal right there. Going to be making myself about 10, 15k right there. So not bad, not bad at all. Going to go through all the contracts, fitness, and all that, all that, uh, all that jazz on him. And uh, yeah, show you the next deal we mentioned. So we're going to get ourselves our uh, next deal, which is going to be Quincy Promise going for 40k. Uh, got it down there, he basically sells about 52k. So. Should be a pretty good deal. Hopefully, make yourself around about 10k on that play. I say we're still having a massive, massive problem with the cash flow, but uh, it's okay because luckily we've got loads of SBCs and you know silver trading and so on. So on we can do if we do need a little bit of coins, uh, and I can also go and clear out the club. But uh, yeah, not too bad on the likes of coins. In fact, I'll probably bang out a little bit of bronze packs in a bit because uh, we're looking low on fitness, and whenever we need more fitness, we do a bunch of bronze packs because it gives us loads and loads of uh, you know little individual fitness. So not bad. On to uh, I guess we'll show you we're getting our bronze. Pack. So I've just been doing a little bit of silver sniping. We've said silver uh, filter. We've got ourselves some pretty, pretty good deals. So we'll uh, go for them one by one by one. And then we'll show the filter. So first off, we got ourselves a uh, Mon Paquette uh, for 200 coins. And he goes for a very nice... What's that? About 2k by looks things. But then got this guy got for 200 coins. And he goes for 4k. Got this guy for 300 coins. And he goes for about 1k. Uh, got this guy for 200 coins. And he goes for about a k. And finally got this guy for 300 coins. It goes to 600 coins. So not amazing. Now the filter I used to pick up all of these players was Silver, League and Basic. And I said that again, I do a lot of special card trading on here. But when you're only sitting on 90k and kind of waiting for some stuff to settle on, it's like you do these or SBCs. And um, well, there you go. Basically, you want to go Silver, Basic, set the highest buy. Now you can help without there being two players over an hour. Scroll along here. So you'll see that if I go 400 coins, there are... There are two cards over now. Actually, no, you could get away with this. There's only one card over now. So basically, what I would want to do is keep pressing compare price back out. And uh, what you'll do is it'll throw new cards on the market. You see, this card's only just been listed. So if it was a really good deal, you know, I could snap it up very fast. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to keep doing this over and over and over again until uh, expensive silvers pop up. How do you know expensive silvers are popping up? Just literally, if you see a new player, compare price. If they're going for about 700 800 coins, probably leave them. If they're going for about a K, probably pick them up. So Endoy, 400 coins. You want to leave him because he's only going for 700. You basically want to do this over and over again. And, and as, as I showed you, you can generally get like two, three, four hundred, well, two, three, four K players for only two, three hundred coins. So it's amazing, amazing for a low budget. Also, Fekir is sold for 35K. Uh, I guess we'll show you this quickly. I say we still are having a little bit of problem with cash flow, but uh, I think that's because I'm very ambitious with the prices. I'll actually walk you through a few of these as well. Uh, going for uh, 2.8, sell for 5. Going for 1.5, sell for 3. Going for 1.7, sold for 3.2. And Fakir, we got for about 26, sold for 35. So, happy days. And Fakir is still being one of these players who is very, very easy to go and sell on. Yeah. So, I'll give you guys a little update of how stuff is looking. So, uh, we're doing a few SBCs right now just because, uh, obviously, so many, like, 82s to 84s are worth loads of money. So, might as well do them. And uh, hopefully get one of these 82s to 84s. But we started a Manzuka Sean. We bought for about 35, sold for 43. So, that's a really nice pickup right there. Bang a few on the realist, and uh, yeah, we're going to go do a few SBCs because it's a high rate golds worth so so much off the back of that Fernando Torres SBC. So even though you can't get team of season, so let's go ahead and open her up. And I say, as long as you get aboard, you're looking good. You're looking all good in the hood. EA, what are we going to get? 25k pack we get. It's not a walkout, at least aboards. That's all we need is aboards, or oh, we're not. Can it be like an 82 rated left back or right back? It's an 81 rated Decore. 
Yikes, yikes, yikes. I don't think it's too good, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get anything too mad out of that. But uh, yeah, on to the next SBC. So we've gone and done ourselves another SBC. We haven't had any special set on in the meantime, but this is a super cheap SBC, right? It's gonna generally going to cost about 4k. We get 1.5k back, which means this pack is generally like, cost me 2.5k. Actually, a special miles hold on, actually, for 155. So in this pack, we don't manage to get ourselves a walkout. We don't manage to get boards for a second time in a row. So 225s in a row. We get a Spanish striker. It could be Inaki Williams, maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to think of the best case scenario. It was Inaki Williams, lovely. We actually get a free pack. Can it be something I care about? A gold pack. So, so 5k pack right there. We discard that. 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 We'll keep that. Uh, keep all them. And we'll keep the players in seven more in a sec. We're just going to open up that 5k pack. I get severely disappointed. We're actually going to skip this pack, though. Magic skip pack. We get the likes of... Oh, it's a player pick. That's cool. There you go. Uh, nothing else too mad. And in the player pick, we get the choices of... Bang, 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 bang. We'll obviously go with Furlan Mendy. And uh, yeah, there we go. Happy, happy days. On to the next SBC, or if we do a bit more special card. So you got yourself another good deal here with uh, Akadi. He's a little bit cheaper at the moment, but if we look at what he was going for yesterday, it's kind of averaging about 66 to, uh, I mean, he dropped down there a little bit. But uh, yeah, recently today he's been about 66, 65 to 70k. So, bad, bad, bad. Uh, that's basically what we're going to be trying to get him for. So we've sold it, we've got him in Raya for uh, 55, going to try and send him for 66k. And uh, yeah, make ourselves about 3k profit. Mm, 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 mm. So we picked up a few more deals, which means we're only on about 30k. So uh, we're doing some SBCs. So we're starting off with this one right here. Bit of a cheaper one. I think it's about 5k right here for a premium election packs, which is six red gold, well, six golds, six silvers, and uh, three reds between them. And as you can see, we're sitting on 31k because we've been uh, buying some hopefully decent cards. So, let's go and see what we're going to get in our premium election pack then. So, it is going to be a board. It's an inform. That's at least like 10k, which is good. Going to be a decent one. German striker. I don't know who this is. Oh, it's Wagner. It's Wagner, Louis. So, that's actually a really, really good pool because I think he's, what, probably like 30k or something like that. Yeah, he's literally 27k. That is, um, that is not too so bad. Anything else? And there we get Corona and a few uh, silvers. I don't think there's too much to give me a shout about, but yeah, not bad whatsoever. So we've gone and done ourselves another SBC. Uh, we've gone and got ourselves the, uh, what's the Dortmund SBC. So not looking too bad. It's about 5, 6k there for a rare electrum. 6 rare gold, 6 rare silvers. Not bad. And you see the coins are up a little bit at the moment. We're up to uh, 93k. We'll just show you before we go and open up uh, said pack. Was sold on. So we have gone and sold ourselves on the mighty, mighty uh, Ilk. Okie Gundigan, or something like that. Uh, 50k right there, so 60k, so not too bad. We can make ourselves a uh, about 7k profit on that. And let's go and relist that and go and open up this. So, 6 red gold, 6 red silvers. We got ourselves 27k in for uh, Wagner in the last pack. No walker in this pack. It's not a board, so it's a bit of a yike. 6 red golds, none of boards. One's going to be Colombian, high trade Colombian. This could be maybe Murillo. I know that all um, Barcelona players are actually selling on at the moment. It's Muriel, not Murillo. Uh, goalkeeper sells on from the uh, bronze silvers, but yeah, nothing too much to scream and shout about. Obviously, we're looking for Barcelona and Atletico Madrid players because they're also going for a lot of money. So, just before 6 p.m., we're going to do one of the SBCs, and that's uh, one of the marquee matchups. So, this marquee matchup wants basically six red golds in 80, 79 ratings, so if you use a mixture of gold and uh, silver uh, reds from the Bundesliga to keep it a little bit cheaper. Uh, Pass could probably cost about 6 7k for a rare electrum, so six red golds, six rare silvers. It works pretty well, so we're going to do this, and then uh, you'll be seeing what we're investing in six, at 6 p.m. Now, sadly, we only have 160k, but I'll be honest with you, I don't think we're actually going to get anything today at 6 p.m. Because uh, I just wouldn't back it with there being no promo or anything like that, so don't think we're too uh, fast. Uh, special card boys, they're not doing too bad. Um, special card, yeah, they're not doing too bad, but ideally, obviously, we'd have a few more things selling on, but it is what it is. But yeah, next thing you'll see will be us uh, trading at 6 p.m. Oh, it's great. Um...
So we are going to be ending off the uh, the Road to Glory, which is actually going to be quite a short one today because of, um, well, yesterday I was partaking in uh, Basin's FIFA Masters tourney, which is like a pro clubs tourney, so we're getting a bit of practice for teams who uh, don't, well, basically my team don't really play too much FIFA, but yeah, that was great fun. But uh, nonetheless, let's uh, go back onto the Road to Glory. So the investments did very, very well. Uh, I mean, I'll just show you a bunch of them right here. So my voice is gone. Uh, you probably won't get a Road to Glory episode tomorrow unless I can manage to get a bunch of content out because uh, I'm actually away. Uh, I'm away to go and watch a show in London, which uh, should be good. But yeah, Max Graders bought for 800 coins, all selling here for about 2.4k. Clients we bought for 700, I think 1k actually, selling for 1.5. Kazawa we bought for 800 coins, sold all of them for about 3.7, which was really good. Grides were selling for about 2.5 to 3k, bought for 700 coins. Uh, scroll along these we all bought for like 600 coins uh, just because I thought it was a really good uh, price and uh, we've all sold him for about 3k uh, and that's about all she wrote you know we got the uh, Inaccio for 17 you know these are just a few cards we're selling right here but yeah it did really really well off of it probably made another two 300k um, what else do we have to show you we also have the likes of Gundogan obviously we bought for about 50 sold for 60 and Hazard we bought for about 40 sold for 49 so that's been really good now one thing I would like to say is I've really really learned that special card trading you need to flip these cards faster especially on a weekend because players are only going to drop when people are buying less you know when people aren't buying their teams and such so one thing I will say I've learned from doing this already and I say this is the whole point of me doing the trade tutorial so I can learn trends is you want to be selling these players relatively fast when you know they're going to be dropping so during the week when you know they're going to rise no mad hurry. But during the weekend when you know they're going to drop, you need to be a little bit more hurry, you know, you need to be more hurry to sell them because basically otherwise, I don't think they'll keep dropping, but they're just not going to go back up. In fact, yeah, they're just at the moment not going back up. So as a result, I've kind of mugged myself off with multiple cards, which would have been a good deal. I was trying to get a little bit more than they were going for. They've dropped and now I'm, uh, you know, barely making, a mo well, you know, barely really making money as such. But there we go. That has been day three for the Road to Glory. Uh, I'm sorry they've kind of been getting sure and sure and sure, but, you know, and even tomorrow you may not even have a Road to Glory. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. Hopefully they are teaching you something. And I shall see you guys tomorrow with day four of the Road to Glory.